Um, evening everyone. That I would jump online um, quickly and just check in with everyone really uh, as we all um, prepare uh, to hunker down for a few weeks. Excuse the casual um, uh, attire. Um, it's a can be a messy business putting toddlers to bed, so I'm not in my work clothes, so forgive me for that. I do just want to prepare um, everyone that um, because of the lag with COVID-19, the time from someone having contact with someone who has it, catching it themselves, them being symptomatic and being tested and positive, there's a number of days before all of that happens. So we won't see the positive benefits of all of the effort you all are about to put in for self-isolation for a lot, for a few days yet, quite a quite a number of days, I'd say at least ten days. So don't be disheartened. Our numbers are going to go up, and the modelling I've seen suggests that they will go up quite considerably. We'll see quite a steep rise. In fact, I'm expecting we may see several thousand cases uh, uh, um, over over a period of time until we then will start to, we hope, see the effects of what we're doing with self-isolation having um, a positive impact. So don't be disheartened when you see that. Don't be disheartened when you see that ongoing increase because of that lag. All of the efforts that we're putting in should eventually show if we all follow um, the rules. Um, till then, do check in on your neighbours. Do especially check on, on those who may be elderly. Give them a call, see what their needs are. Um, and if you can help them, go out and grab their essentials and pop them on the front door for them. Um, just remembering the way we can keep them safe is by keeping our distance. Um, remember, stay at home, break the chain, uh, and you'll save lives. And it's as simple as that. That's everyone's job for the next four months.